All right. Well, first of all, I want to say hi to everybody. Sorry about this. Uh, from Washington, D.C. Uh, I'm staying at the uh, Washington Hilton, but the event is at the um, Marriott Boardman. So that's where I am here. I'll show you here. Pretty cool. Lots going on. Lots of conferences. Already heard from Dr. Ben Carson this morning and um, Ron Insim. I don't know him, but anyway, he's a CNBC specialist and giving us some economic updates, talking about how housing should be great for us for a while to come yet. With uh, the millennial cohort being higher or bigger than the baby boomers, we should uh, really start to see a surge in first-time home buyers, and uh, especially as far as new construction goes. So we need to get Joe to build some affordable lots there. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the housing market update just came out from Upstar. I'm going to let you pan out here and see other people so you don't see me reading my paper. Um, New listings were down 3.7 percent. Pendings were down 3.2 percent, and closings were up 2 percent. Now, for us, we were slightly off in um, April, but uh, we look like we should be able to make that up in May. And uh, June is coming along really, really well. It's also, but it needs to because June of 2016 was our best month ever, where we closed almost a million dollars in gross emissions. So, um, keep up the good work there. All right, so I'm going to sign off here and just wanted to say thanks for coming to the meeting, and I hope this is well informative for you. Take care. So does that mean I should uh, get in here? <laughs> okay. Jose, are you there? I am here. Great. I think we are ready to go then. Okay. So um, can, you let, can you let me know, can you see my screen right now? Yes, we can. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So, we, you know, you've been using our platform for a while. And Kim asked me if we could do kind of a refresher. So, I'm kind of got <coughs> an hour blocked off. And I'm going to go a little bit fast because we, we do a lot of things. Thank you, Kim. I see your message there. Um, and so, let's just get started. There are basically, you know, I... I let me ask, and, and you're sitting in the room there, about how many of you are using this at all? <laughs> you it's half, you think it's a quarter? Five percent. About a third. About a third, yeah, that's, that's kind of a normal thing. So uh, it'd be great to have more. The more, you know, the thing about it is we're basically a toolkit, online uh, real estate marketing toolkit. But it's like any tool, if you leave a hammer on your desk, it's not going to do anything until you pick it up. And so before we dive into the stuff, I want to kind of point out to you where to look for when we're not on the call together. All right. And so this is the login page. You should have an ID and password. You log in at the top right. But right down here is a blog. And we collate. I'm going to take you to our, our mastermind group in a couple minutes. But we take all the best feedback from our mastermind group and we put them on these pages. So I'm going to show you a lot of tools and I'm going to show you what they do and what they look like, where you, where you get them. Um, but the key is how do you use them? What kind, do you put them on Facebook? Do you send them out on email? And what do you write on them to get the most amount of leads? And I don't know if you can see here on your screen, but for $7, this agent got 20 seller leads in, in less than two days. That's pretty awesome, uh, you know, kind of results. And so exactly how they did it is covered right here. We also have some tools that you can use for follow on, um, you know, emails if you're collecting leads and stuff like that. So that's all in the blog. And you can get to the blog by just scrolling down before you even log into the system. But when we log in, I'll log, in, I'll log in as myself in my little demo account. There are two major halves, I, I call it kind of, you know, hemispheres of listings to leads. Um, one is automated tools to market your listings, and the other are tools to help you get more listings. That blog post I just showed you is one of those kinds of tools to get more listings. This pop-up page pops up every time you log in. Uh, there is a really interesting webinar right here with Neil Wolf using a tool and putting it on Craigslist. Um, Craig just used to be a hotbed for real estate advertising. Uh, he, at, uh, just a few years ago, 
um, was getting 50 leads a day off of Craigslist with one tool, the bar system. Still gets about 50 a week because he's been fishing, you know, the Naples market quite a while. Down here, you can take classes. We do have live classes every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Monday is kind of the basics. How do you set up your account? How do you use our tools that are automated to market your listings? Tuesday is about Facebook advertising. And if you're in real estate and you are not using Facebook advertising, you are ignoring one of the most powerful tools and platforms in real estate advertising right now. And it changes. Facebook changes, I'd say about every 72 hours. They turn a knob here, they change something here. They're always trying to maximize their system. And getting on our call on Tuesday, at least once a month, you will know what's happening. You will also know the kind of language and how to write an ad to get 20 leads in two days. And it's important to stay on top of that because we get so much feedback from our clients and they're sharing that information all the time. On this homepage, when you log in, getting started here, this is pretty much what you do when you first get in the platform. Um, you guys have been with us a while, so I'm not gonna go through that. Facebook advertising though is the second green button. And like I said, it's an important platform to be in, uh, investing on and understanding. On this page, there's a video that shows you how to create the tool that you want to use if you want listing leads. Right up here is how to run, run an ad. And so that's right there, right as you log in. You've got some great uh, tools for open houses. All you got to do is save the date and we email you like five tools and automatically and you can, you know, for social media, for email, for Craigslist. Uh, and even tools to use at the, uh, the the open house. Listing presentation, you can download it. It's very powerful because we do so many things for you automatically and it's very hard for a realtor to compete against that. And lastly on this page, you should all click this button, click to join the Listings to Leads Mastermind group. There will, if you're not a member, you will, uh, you'll see a green button that says join this group. And you'll see here that our clients all over the country are sharing, sorry, I don't know, uh, my, my computer went slow there. They're sharing what's going on. So you can see here, nine seller leads in 15 hours, first three in 20 minutes. And if you click through the comments, she actually puts the ads up there so you can see exactly what she's doing and how she wrote the ad. And like I said, how you write the ad is, is actually a really important uh, piece. But I'd say at least once a day, somebody is sharing one of their ads saying this is what i did and here's how many leads i got and you need to know that you need to know because facebook if you're not familiar with that 30 percent of all online time on smartphones is on facebook okay so people are online on their smartphones on facebook and it, it, i don't think they're anywhere else that is the largest place uh, of smartphone time so you need to have a strategy if you want to be in front of your target market is the point. So let's go over here. Like I said, there are a lot of tabs up here on the top over to the right contact support. If you have any questions, we have a support team that will help you right there. But there are two major sections, the listing section and your listings come in, I think automatically. And then we send you a bunch of tools. So we'll go through those tools pretty quickly. Um, and then there's the landing page section. And landing pages are kind of single page websites, you know, <coughs> designed to get listing leads, designed to get FISBOs, expireds, uh, you know, empty nesters, uh, people that are thinking of moving. All They're just very simple webs, uh, web pages that you can put on a postcard, you can put in a newsletter, you can put out on Google, you can put on Facebook. There are many ways to use them and they're designed to capture leads for you. So you go right to this section to get those kinds of tools. So those are the two big main, you know, chunks. So let's go over to the listings and let's look at that real quick. So as your listings hit our platform, we send a number of tools to you automatically and going from left to right, uh, you'll kind of see what's going on. So over here, number three, it says JL. That means just listed. You can click on the address and a page will pop up. And this is a marketing checklist right up here at the gener at top. It says generate PDF. This is excellent to use. Generate the PDF and take it on your listing presentation with the listing presentation on the home page. You can see they're just it's just listing all the things that we can do. We can market it just listed 
open house, pending, and just sold. Um, all these tools are created automatically. It's your choice to use them or to ignore them. Um, and But from a marketing perspective and from a, um, a listing presentation perspective, I don't think there's a listing presentation really with so many major platforms represented. So it's really, it's really helpful for you to get your arms around that. Uh, and a lot of people who are going on a listing presentation will actually just create a listing by hand with maybe one photo that they took with their smartphone and they say, okay, well, here's kind of what we're going to have. And going through what you can show them is the single property website. So if you click on the red button, you'll have a single property website pop up. Uh, your logo will be up on the top left. I have a video uh, in here. So you can actually incorporate video in a single property websites. You can see that automatically a lead capture form pops up to capture contact detail, right? Just listed is the status up here on the top right. It could be just listed, it could be open house, it could be under contract, uh, it could be pending, and you can, of course, be just sold. And then over here are what we call lead generation links. Many times, you know, at least 20% of all people click these links because they've looked at your tool somewhere. Something like this popped up in an email, it popped up on social media, it popped up somewhere, and somebody wanted to look at it. But when they look at your home, and you know this because you're realtors, not everybody wants to buy your particular home that you're selling. So by having these links over here that say, you know, search all homes or homes in this area and this price range, that can point right to your website where you can capture leads on your own website. So that's an important piece there. This tool shows up in your mailbox automatically. What you should do with this tool is click these buttons underneath your contact information. And these are designed for you to share this. And number one website to share and capture leads is Facebook, right? It's pretty simple. It opens up a box like this, write something social. Hey, here's a great home, just hit the market. Let me know if I can help you, right? Uh, number two website in terms of lead gen is Pinterest. Not many realtors know that, but that is the case. Our clients get a lot of feedback, or I should say a lot of leads, also from LinkedIn. So they could just click the LinkedIn button. You are all, I hope, creating networks of other professionals that you know, and you can just share with them right here that, hey, we've got a great home on the market. A lot of our clients have come back on the mastermind group and said, hey, we're getting, we're getting listings off of LinkedIn. We weren't even you know, trying to, it's just that not many people are there. So when this tool arrives in your email, which is the first thing that you get, share it to social media. The next tool that you get in the same email is our branded virtual tour. If you forget it or you delete the email, you can always click here and get to the branded virtual tour. Um, and the branded virtual tour, again, is mobile optimized. It will have a, a, a pan and zoom of your photos. It'll also have the lead generation links. So most agents will take copy the URL at the top. Of course, it's got lead capture too. Um, and they'll put it right on their listings on Zillow and Trulia. And so you can do that um, because if people see your listing on Zillow and Trulia, if there's any remote interest in that property and somebody fills out a form, more often than not, Zillow is giving that lead to three or four other agents and you may not even get that lead. So a lot of people really like to use our tools to divert that traffic back to them. Now we auto upload to YouTube for you. We auto post to WordPress for you. And then we also send you a series of e-flyers and, and uh, Facebook ads. So I'll show you the big difference of our stuff. Um, this tool here, the seller engagement, is the first tool that you get and this has a link of the virtual tour and the single property website on top of it. And it's meant for you to share with your homeowners. It'll have your, it'll have your banner, not mine. And it'll have a few images of the home. And it's going to say, hey, we're marketing this home. And, and if you scroll down, it's kind of saying we're ready for the web. We're ready for smartphones, for email, for Facebook. We're ready for, you know, WordPress and Google and Craigslist. And then there's your picture and phone number and your, lo and your logo there. All right. It's kind of wordy and long because we want to impress your homeowners on all the marketing you're going to be doing. Right at that same point that you receive that, we're also going to send you a just listed e-flyer and Facebook ad. And 
this kind of, I think, is the confusing piece for a lot of realtors. Um, because it's, it's sent automatically to you and you're meant to send it to your homeowner. And here's why. It's going to talk about the home. Obviously, it's going to give the, the photos and the price and all those great things that you would want. But it's got a lot of properties in it. It's got a lot of links in it to help you get leads, right? See more homes for sale, find out what your home is worth. So I think this flyer has a number of ways to capture leads. And not only that, there's a pre-written message for your homeowners that is going to talk about you. And the reason we built it this way is that our clients love getting online leads, right? That's that's kind of our, our forte. But they really like referrals. And these tools are pre-written on your the homeowner's behalf talking about you, right? And so as you can see, here's a just listed e-flyer talking about you, single property website flyer, virtual tour flyer. There's an open house flyer pending and just sold and price, even price reduced. All of these have different lead capture forms based on the status, right? Because an open house lead capture form is totally different from a just sold, right? And that would, that would kind of make sense. You have a different call to action. See if I have an open house. I don't have one set up here, but let's go look at the just sold. So let's see. I've got a property here that's just sold. And let's look at the Facebook ad. And I think this one is the one just sold Facebook ad it, it, it's like a hammer to the head for a lot of realtor, realtors. They really understand what we're doing and why they need to use these tools. What they don't understand though, I'm gonna click view, is what in the world this email means, right? And that's, that's our fault and we're, we're working on changing that. So I want you to know what it is and what should happen here. We send this email to you automatically. When you change the status on your property to sold, we send this to you and you should send it to your client and you should call your client and say, hey, I just sent you an e-flyer and a Facebook ad. I'd like you to copy what is between the two red lines in that email and go put that on your Facebook wall. Okay, so let's do that together. And you will see why you want to be familiar with this one activity. Um, your client is meant to paste this on their wall. All right, not you put it on your wall. You're welcome to do that. But this is designed to get your name and your phone number and your recommendation out in front of your clients, friends and family. So if you don't know this, you know, if your clients are on Facebook, they probably got 100, 200, 300 friends that have no idea that you're a realtor. Okay. And with this, it's saying, Hey, uh, now here, it's kind of confusing because that's me, right? This would be your client talking about you. And it would say, Hey, you're great. You did an excellent job, sold our home. And here is your name and phone number and email. Contact me. And then if that, if their friend clicks on this, well, what happens? The single property website pops up. And because it's just sold, when that automatic lead capture form pops up, which it just did, it has a built-in home valuation tool right built into the form. So you, as you can probably imagine, a lot of people who click on just sold advertising own a home and they're thinking about what, what is, you know, what was the price? That's really why I wanted to know. So they can get the price here by checking this box. They can put in their address here and get a lead. My phone over here is ringing because I got a lead because somebody clicked on it. So that's kind of what, that's how these tools are designed. They're designed for you to market. They're designed for you to capture leads at every status but they're also designed for you to get, um, you know, to get referrals, to just let your clients, friends and family and colleagues know that you are a realtor because, you know, I don't know how you get referrals. Maybe you're leaving some business cards. Maybe you got some fancy knives you're leaving behind. I don't know, but our tools get out a half a dozen times and are seen by hundreds of people over the course of your sale. So just get familiar with those. The last tool that shows up automatically in your that first email is what we call a listing landing page. We designed this uh, specifically for Facebook because uh, a lot of people click on our ads and this is a really good looking tool. It's a good looking tool for people that, you know, if they don't know you're a realtor and they click on something and they see an awesome marketing piece, well, that's just great for you, right? So. Um, I'm going to put, um, 
an email and, and and what happens is when you click get the information the consumer gets dropped on the single property website I don't know if you can hear it my phone just vibrated again because I got a lead because I just filled that out I get a, an, an instant kind of thank you then boom I'm dropped back on that single property website right so again everything we do is designed to capture leads in one way or another um, over here we have blog tools for any of you that are blogging you can just copy and paste the HTML all of the blogs posts have multiple ways of capturing leads over here you can click and get to Craigslist um, if you're not marketing on Craigslist and I know in the past Craigslist was a huge area for for lead gen but it also gave a, a realtors a, you know a fair amount of headaches um, I will tell you this it is the number 13th website in the United States okay it's not number one but it's number 13 and it has huge huge audience but about three years ago Craigslist whipped their website upside down and made it really difficult for realtors so I'd say about 95% of your competition has left but your target market went nowhere they are there looking at properties and our clients that post their listings there are routinely coming back to us saying we're getting far fewer leads in the older days but we're getting higher conversions so we're really happy to do it so that's why you have that tool there so these are the tools that are designed uh, to market your listings and there's a couple of other tools in here that I want to point out and these are pretty new um, there is a listing there up oh, here on the top left are some buttons you can grab an active listing if you if you don't have your own listings you want a market listing there's also this thing that says listing website and widgets and this is pretty cool um, because right here is something that says your listing website so let's click on it and I'll show you what it is this will have every one of your listings in here right so the middle column it has a map and the middle column shows you the homes for sale and if anybody clicks on any of the homes well it's gonna bring up a single property website okay and as you know I'm sure by now these are designed to capture leads for you so all your listings are in one spot if you have reviews on Zillow there's a button to check on your profile that will automatically put those reviews on this same page then we've got your lead gen links over here we've got a what is your home worth uh, form over here so this is a pretty cool tool if you remember when we just logged into the listings to leads at the beginning of this call I said um, there is a realtor that's been taking a tool and putting it on Craigslist this is the tool he's using it's the exact same tool but this is his right um, and he's still putting it on on Craigslist he's getting 50 leads every week from from just this tool and he's got a great website but I know this because I, I had breakfast with him a, a couple months ago anybody who calls him any if, if they find out about him one way or another he sends them to this site because there's so much lead capture on it he also built you notice there's something that says golf course communities he built all of these landing pages in our platform okay and obviously it's pretty simple right do you want to find out about a golf course community fill out the form okay if you want to find out about the least purchase option that he's involved with fill out the form right and that's why he points people to this page you want to know what your home is worth great fill out the form and that's really all he does and so he's putting this on Craigslist he's generating a huge amount of leads when he first started doing it as I mentioned he's doing 50 leads a day their their manager called me and said we don't know what is going on but this guy is you know killing it and that's how I got to meet Neil there's also a page here it says client review website and I mentioned if you have Zillow reviews in this case we put it the, the reviews right up front if you get a new review and it is on this page let me show you what you do with this right you copy the URL that says for me V Mesa amazing amazing uh, client reviews and you go to your website your Facebook and you you just go you know hey Scott thanks so much for your great review great working with you right no. 
and then click post. And here's why. What happens is this is coming from me, the realtor, and it is on my client's wall. And all of their friends, all of my clients, friends and family and colleagues that are communicating with them on Facebook, they're gonna see this. And what happens when they click that? Well, that page pops up with all of your reviews and to the right are all of your listings and to the left are some lead capture links and to the right is a home valuation form. So again, we're, we are focused on getting more leads for you. These tools, however, they don't really do anything if you don't use them. If you use them though, you will get leads and you'll see in our mastermind group, like we just have clients all over the place getting huge lead gen out of this. Um, so that's kind of on the listings page. The next page is landing pages, or this is the area where I think a lot of people want to focus. And landing pages can be used, number one place people are using them is on Facebook, uh, but also on Google, on Bing advertising. They put them on the back of postcards, stuff like that. Um, so let me, let me ask uh, on the call, what's the number one town where you're trying to build, where, you, where, you're, where you're building your business? What's the name of the city? Hello? <laughs> Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne? <coughs> Let's imagine you just said Fort Wayne. So this is what you do. You type in Fort Wayne. You spell it correctly and you capitalize it correctly because it's going to show up on all your tools. And you click save. Now I know there are a bunch of realtors there and you probably are building your business in three or four or five or more different areas. You want to do this for each one of those areas and you save each one separately. And I'll, sh I'll show you why in just a second. It's going to, it's kind of, you can't see it because of where it's recording, but right here it says we just created a series of landing pages. That means I now have a Fort Wayne landing page for Fizbo's, right? So where would you find Fizbo's? You can find Fizbo's on Zillow. You can find them on Craigslist. You can buy a list of them. But this page is designed to help you get in front of them by offering them some free marketing in exchange. You know, you're going to get their, their home address and their contact information. So a lot of realtors like to get after, you know, Fizbo's because I think the average is within two months, they hand it to a realtor. If you're the one giving them free marketing tools, you're probably on that list of realtors that's going to get that. Uh, and then, of course, we create the growing family for Fort Wayne. And we create, if you have a custom-free report for sellers or buyers or something for empty nesters, you know, we've got all that. But the number one page I like people to get involved with, and which most of our clients use, is this Property Valuation Plus. And let me ask, has anybody on this call used this page? I'm going to just take that as a no. So let's look at it. We scroll down to the bottom. I've got my Fort Wayne page. And here is what it is, right? It looks like this. And I don't know if your neighborhoods look like this, but I kind of doubt that they do. So the first thing you want to do is edit the background uh, picture, right? And so let's go do that. So just following you know, along, just go to Google and type in Fort Wayne. And you gotta kind of look and figure out on this and, and just follow me here. I am recording this, so I'm gonna move a little bit fast here. You click on images, you click on tools, you click on size and you get four megapixels. This means the picture is large enough to fill the background, okay? And then just click on it and then click view image. And it shows you the image. Now there are some, you know, it gets a little more complicated, but in this case, I'm just gonna save it. And I'm gonna save it on desktop. And I'm gonna say one, I'm gonna, uh, no, I'm gonna call it one Windermere over here. Okay. And go back to this. This is where we clicked on the landing page to see it. It also says edit. 
uh, click edit. Click down here it says upload background image. And what is that? Oh, that's that's not where I want to be. Uh, get that picture in there. Go to the bottom. And save it and update. Okay. So once you do that, you can open up your other page and you can't see it, but the, it's still trying to save that photograph. It's done now. Now I can refresh this page and it takes that generic background picture that we put up there and it gives you your local area All right now this looks like a big town i don't know if you're in a big town right i don't know if you work in a bunch of small towns and stuff like that so i want to kind of point out to you what to think of on this background picture um i set up the offices around uh the country for um you know for for, for our company and i do this call all the time Right, and I, and I teach people how we use it, and I tell them exactly what I'm showing you now. And the, the, the manager of this office that I set up in Summit, New Jersey said, Vince, we're, we're out there running a bunch of ads, and we're getting a lot of leads, but this picture here, uh, this gives us the most leads. And I wanna point this out to you, because realtors often think whatever it is on their mind that's gonna get people to pull the trigger on their ad. Maybe it's a big, beautiful mansion. Maybe it's a luxury home. Maybe it's, I don't know, a kitchen or whatever. But in this case, this is, an, a, this is a diner that's on the main street of a town of about 22,000 people. And everybody in that town knows this diner. And what it's doing is it's making the consumers feel comfortable with you, with, with giving you their contact information. Because if you run kind of a, uh, you know, a generic ad, well, they don't know if they're signing up for a, a, you know, a national spam campaign or what's going on, but they can tell from that that, they, that you know their area. So I just want to point that out, that that kind of thing works really well. But here, I'm ready to run this as an ad, so let's do it. Um, one thing you can do with this before I go put it on Facebook, I want to take us back to the edit page. And on this edit page, I don't really like you to get too busy here. There is one thing I like to do. I like to get, I like to change this to get your answer in less than 15 seconds. And the reason why I like to do that, I'll, I'll run the ad for you in a second, is that, you know, we're all so instant, you know, gratification kind of world now that when you're writing an ad and you can say, you can have your answer in 15 seconds. Well, that's a really a motivator. But on this same page is this really weird little section and I, whatever this says here, it's unintelligible. But what I want you to understand is that there is an email that is very powerful and it is on the blog post that I showed you before we called, we logged in. And this email is like a, a kind of a market snapshot, right? And you can, where I click to view it, you can copy it and just paste it in your email and, and send it to yourself. What is it? There is a there. You you write basically a couple lines of what's going on in your local market right here. There's a there's an editor in, on the on the edit page where you put that. But all of these things here, like get your home value, they are directly tied to this landing page, so that while we can target these people on uh, uh, Facebook or on Google. We can also target them just in our email to say, hey, we know you're in this town and I've been, you know, I'm sitting on your leads and there we go. Also, your reviews are there and all kinds of stuff. So this is just a great tool that's like copy and paste out listings to leads and get it in front of, you know, your older leads that are sitting there and not producing anything for you. So let's go put this on facebook and then i'm going to ask again and, and just wait for the crickets have any of you run an ad on facebook before yes. Yes. wow okay awesome then i'm going to move fast on this one we're going to run this as a seller ad okay we want to get sellers and uh okay 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 how you do it is you go up here and you say create ads and um we've got to wait for this to kick up this is why you want to get on the facebook call too 
Facebook changes the this page all the time. And if you don't know what's happening, um, it gets a little bit confusing. For instance, about 30 days ago, they added this tab here. It says lead generation. And since we're talking about lead generation, that would make a lot of sense. And it definitely makes a lot of sense when you're trying to get buyers. But if you're trying to get sellers, it is pretty much like shooting yourself in the foot. It does not work. We know we run a lot of ads. We run a lot of ads for our clients and we have a lot of feedback from thousands of our clients. And we know that this form is super powerful for capturing buyer leads. Um, but when we're trying to get a listing, and this is what we're doing right now, we wanna click on the button that says traffic. And you then it takes you to a place that says, well, what do you wanna call it? I'm gonna just say it, call it value uh, Fort Worth May, right, the 16th. You wanna, you wanna name this campaign because you should be running at least two ads every week. Um, and after a while, you're gonna to wanna to know what's working, right? What, what ads work better? Was it the photo? Was it your language? Whatever, right? So I'm gonna type in Fort Wayne. Let's see if that works for me, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And it says Fort Wayne plus 25 miles. You can see this, right? When you're running a seller ad and it only says Fort Wayne, you wanna change this ad to current city only. And what that means is the only people that are gonna see this are the only the people that live in Fort Wayne. And that makes sense because this page is only talking about Fort Wayne. You probably want a minimum age. It's probably, you know, you choose that number, 30 could work, stuff like that. You could exclude realtors here. Um, and you could also target other people if you want to target. Um, you can even put homeowners there if you want. Here is the one thing that I want you to really be concerned with, and it's the placement section. When you're running seller ads, you want to start by changing this to desktop only. I am working on my desktop computer. I got a big monitor here. And while that page, this page is mobile optimized, it's a three page process. And not all consumers are really comfortable clicking through all those buttons and pages on a smartphone, right? It's, it, it will merge in there, but it just doesn't work that well. So when you're trying to get listings, you want to, you want to start with desktop only. After you start getting good at that, you can certainly test out the, uh, the mobile. Um, changes to lifetime budget. What that does is it puts it in at the, at the right time, at the maximum time for you to get lead gen. I change it to $30. You always want to start a seller uh, lead capture on Friday and end it on Monday of the same week. Okay. So pretty much three days. I don't know if you can see this over here, but it's saying about 960 to 5,000 people are going to see this every day. So that's three days. It's about 7,500 people are going to see that you're a realtor, right? For 30 bucks. And that's a, that's great for you from a branding perspective, because I don't know where you spend 30 bucks and have, you know, 6,000 people know that you're a professional. Here's the other thing. If you've got, you know, multiple pages right here, you choose the page you want it to show up on. Okay. Now, I don't know if you noticed, it was defaulting to carousel. And carousel, what that does is it says you can have more photographs or videos, and those will sort of scroll through, and, that, and, and that's what they're doing. And Facebook is trying to drive you there. That's the default. Again, we run a lot of ads, and we know that if you use the carousel, you're pretty much going to get no leads, zero. So we really recommend the single image ad, and that should be your default. Then come down here. You want to copy this link here, and you want to put it right here. Paste. Hit that blue thing there, and you can see there's a bar up on the right. It starts to kind of push everything in. And it shows you the picture. This says sponsored by listings leads. This is going to be sponsored by you. And, and like I said, 6,000 plus people are going to see this. This default language, find out your home worth now, 
is useless. It is really useless. Do not run an ad with that language. This is where you got to remember what Vince was saying, which was before you log in, go down to the blog and get some of the ideas that we're collecting from our other clients who are getting great lead gen, right? And there's this one article here. There's also another one in the next blog post, which I know a lot of our clients use, so I'm gonna point it out too. Uh, 31 seller leads in two days. There's a lot of, uh, whenever you see this kind of headline, it, we're basically showing you the language that works. In this one, this language works over and over. This is what the ad looks like. It says, 360 homes sold in Frisco in June, the highest paid was here. Now see your home worth, what your home worth, free. This, this works every time. And that's why you put it here so that you can see how to do that. So instead of find your own, you know, home value, just get the real numbers, right? Go look at the MLS and just say, yeah, 300 homes sold, right? Yada, 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 right? And whatever I type in this box is gonna flow up here on the top right above the photograph. That's what you gotta do, all right? So when I am saying like, uh, join our group, right? Join our mastermind group, um, it's because we're creating the tools already, right? We, we, we're creating them automatically. You're paying for them. And the question is, are you going to use them? And if you are gonna use them and you're gonna invest some money, are you going to get three leads or are you going to get 30 leads? Same amount of money. It's just the question of how did you write that ad? If you click on here and, you, and you'll see multiple things written by our, by our clients, somewhere on this page, and I don't remember where, this agent actually says, yeah, oh, there it is right there. This is what I did. This is what I wrote. This is what my ad looks like. Just sold in 10 days. Your home value has changed. Get your new home value now. This got huge lead gen for. This is why we really want to thank our clients for sharing these ideas and why I'm pointing it out to you is you don't have to think of this stuff yourself. We're, we're basically spoon feeding it to you. Just use it, right? Um, you would make that change right here. It would show up there and people would see it. If you're not familiar with what these ads look like, well, that is what it looks like. But it also shows up, I'm gonna click on my homepage. Right here where it says listed productions and all this, that ad shows up right here, okay? So it is smack dab center. So if you can write the ad correctly and put a powerful tool behind it, you should capture some leads that way. So that's how you run a seller ad, place the order, Facebook's gonna review it. Then they're gonna tell you at the end, in this case it's three days, they're gonna say, congratulations, you ran an ad, right? And all that means is you were able to follow these steps and give them some money, right? What it doesn't, but what they show you in that email is they say, here's how many people it reached, which should be around 6,000, and here's how many people clicked on it. And that click number is the most important kind of number because what it means is, there, there are two knobs right here that you have to be at that get people to click. It is the language that you write, like 300 homes sold, or this home was in contract in four days, or whatever, and the picture. If And you'll know, if you get, you know, five or ten clicks and you get one or two leads, you have not, you do not have powerful enough language or your image is lacking. And that's it. That's really it. Otherwise, you put it on mobile and you got a lot of clicks and no leads. That's usually the, the other mistake. So those are the knobs to turn. That's how you do it. The other thing is, and I'm going to see if I can get out of here. We recommend, and you heard me say it earlier, that you run a couple of ads every week. And one ad we would recommend that you run every weekend, and that is the ad that we just did, Seller Lead Capture with a property valuation plus page, okay? And the other is to brand. And that, and that is because that tool, this tool here is, um, we're not the only company with this, right? There's, there's at least a half dozen, probably 20 companies, as many, many I've never heard of, 
that have these and realtors are, are starting to understand this is a very important thing to do. So you've got people competing against you in your market most likely with this same technology, okay? What they're not doing and what's really helping our clients tremendously is that they're not looking at it at Facebook as a branding place to brand as well. And when our clients brand and run ads for a smaller amount of money, they're able to really snowball their lead gen. And so in this case, if I've got a property that's just listed, I want to let the market know that, right? So we send you a single property website automatically. This is a great tool to brand with, right? And you can just run the ad here in the same way, copy and go run an ad so that you're driving people to this one. Now, a couple things that are different about Facebook in this regard uh, is that I mentioned it earlier. We're going we're gonna to kind of go back and look at it. Uh, I'll, I'll just go through it and I'll kind of blast through this one really fast. In this case, we don't need, here's what, yeah, it's, it's telling me I didn't finish. So you can use lead gen here because now we're trying to get buyers. And in this way, lead gen, I'm just going to say JL, right, for just listed and I'll say Fort Wayne and I'll say name, right. You, it, it takes a couple steps for lead gen because you got to figure out your own form, right? And you can, and here's the basics of that form. You want to have a form that has the name, email, and phone number. That's what you want to capture, right? And that's great, but here's why it's ridiculously great. You probably know this and have forgotten it, but Facebook has everyone's phone number and email and name okay so when the form pops up there all that contact information is already pre-populated and that's really what you're after all they have to do is click submit and bang you have all their contact info so here i want to point out a couple things i the, it gives us again that radius of 25 miles if you're happy going out 25 miles or you want people 25 miles away to know you're a realtor great Maybe, maybe you want to say, no, I only want it to be 10 mile radius, right? You can do that. Um, but you'll probably don't want the teenagers looking at it. So you put a minimum age and here again is the daily reach. So I think the only thing here is, you know, you copy and paste the link, you write some compelling language, to get people to click on it. Um, but the budget should be a lifetime budget, really only run an ad for four days. So if it's four days, put it for 20 bucks, okay? And this is definitely something you wanna do for open houses. Um, or, you know, you got something just listed or definitely something, you know, that's sold. And the other difference is you can now run this on all devices because you want, uh, like I said, 30% of all on mobile time online is on Facebook. <laughs> And for 20 bucks, you want everybody that's standing in line at Starbucks or driving in their car looking at Facebook to see that you're a realtor. So that's it. You click continue, you go through, and you, you paste in your link, and you just sort of finish it, you know, you finish it off. The nice thing about that, again, for 20 bucks, is something I think, I, I, I can't remember the number there. Let's go look at it real quick. Yeah. Yeah, almost 4,000 people are going to see, again, that you're a realtor. And the point of that is that if you build a brand with your listings or even your borrowed listings or even HUD listings, you're telling thousands of people you're a realtor every week for 20 bucks. And on the weekend, you say, by the way, do you want your home value? That combination, if you do that every week, after a couple months, all of our clients come back and say, you know what? I'm getting more and more leads and I'm getting more quality of leads. I'm not just getting a, an email where people never respond again. They actually see I'm a realtor and, they're the, and they get a dialogue. And then where it really gets great, uh, mm -hmm. does the blog have language for that too? We don't have much in the, in the way of the language for a seller or, or for, for marketing a home. 
because if it's an open house or if it's a, a new listing or if it's a um you know it's something about a home here's our virtual tour you really have the the language it, it's really what's important about this house does it have a new granite kitchen does it have is it on a quiet neighborhood a, you know good schools all those normal kind of marketing words put that in the ad that's that's what's going to get people to click on the seller side when you're getting seller leads those are all we we capture all that on on the uh on the uh, uh, uh on the blogs and in our mastermind group um and the reason why i'm going to point that out again if you click around our website long enough and you find our recorded webinars of our agents doing talking about what they're doing all of those agents all say the same thing they are using facebook in the way that i'm describing to you and they are getting random phone calls from people they have never heard of who are saying i see you all over facebook and i need to buy a home or i need to uh, i need to sell a home and, and but because these agents have run multiple ads all the time, you cannot avoid these agents, right? And so today, I don't know where you take your marketing dollars. Do you put them on Zillow? Do you put them on realtor.com? Do you put them on the side of a bus or do you put it on a sandwich board? I don't know, but 71% of adults in the United States, not teens, but adults are on Facebook, okay? It's a great place for you to build a brand and a great place for you to get leads. So that's kind of the story of that, right? A couple of other tools here. Up at the top, there's a tab that says email and blog. Again, um, you can. There, there's a place to create a blog for yourself there. But there's also a cool signature bar. This is mine. Yours will have your banner and it'll have your, your most important lead generation links here. Your review tab will be here. Of course, get your free home value. I'm not sure where that's gonna point to. One of my old lead capture forms, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that can that is designed to snap, copy and paste right into your into your you know your email. So that when you're sending an email, again, you're gonna get some leads with that. So everybody, that's kind of the story uh, of what we do. I wanna point out this page right here says contact support. We have three support people, and everybody, if you put your question in this box in the center. Everybody's watching it, including my partner, Scott. And if it's too hard for all of them, then they send it to me, right? So that's a great place for instant feedback. Any questions? Okay. I'm going to show you one more cool thing. And it is not... Actually, it's in our Facebook mastermind group. But that's just where we have it. Um, but if you go here and you go to photos in our mastermind group, you will see this is just all the photos and you really got to kind of dig for it. But I want to point it out to you because one of our, one of our clients, uh, created it and then shared it in the group and said, Hey, I, I'm just, I'm getting like a couple dozen listing leads every time I do this. And I blast this out a few times a year. So I want you to see it to kind of think about, if I can find it, for goodness sake, um, to think about that. And it's that we create a lot of technology, here it is. And if you can use it, you can apply it in the more traditional ways. This client, for instance, sends just listed and just sold postcards out, right? And some of you do that. And when you, when you ask yourself, what did I get in return? Often the, the answer is nothing. So in your mind, you're thinking, well, at least I get some branding, right? And that's great. And on the top half of this postcard, this guy is getting branding, but on the back side of it, it says, go to this website to get your home value now. And then, and so what's happening is they're actually getting leads from that investment. So I just want to kind of point out to you, we do create a lot of tools. If you hang out in our mastermind group, you're going to find out that our clients use those tools in a lot of different ways, more ways than I could even tell you on this call. And I recommend you spend a couple days in, or, you know, a few minutes every, every week to see what's going on, right? And what's working the best. Um, and that's it. So last, last time and any questions for you?
I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand that. There's no question. Ah, okay. Well, everybody, thanks for your time. Kim, thanks for pulling this together. I'm recording this. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'm going to put this up online and I will send you a link to it so that you guys have this as to review. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Have a great week. Thanks for your time today and uh, keep in touch.